Justin Waters is one of the best writers in Charleston City Papers history. Last week, he wrote a phenomenal profile on yours truly. In this edition of Quintess Post Ups, I speak exclusively with him one-on-one. -on -one. Dustin, it is so good to see you again. It's good to see you, buddy. I really appreciate this. Oh no, it's, a, it's an honor. Thank you, thank you. And as we talked off the camera, I told you thank you for the big article that you wrote last week. That was phenomenal. Oh, thanks. So, and a lot of people I talked to say it was well written. And, you know, that's, uh, most of the credit goes to you. No. Um, <laughs> it's good to have a great subject, but it, it was it was fun to write and I'm glad people enjoyed it. Thank you, as I mentioned to you, uh, people stop me in the middle of the street and <laughs> say that they read the article and they love me being on the cover. And, of course, people, you know, starting campaigns on my behalf, and of course, I got a free smoothie. And uh, as soon as I get the money for the camera, I'll have a new one soon. <laughs> but uh, I want to notice. Um, I know this might be a dumb question, but when you were writing a story about me, what did you learn about me? Well, I guess um, I guess two things: the the level of work that you put in before each interview. You know, I think that that really matters because that's the stuff that people don't see. You know, people can watch the interview and say, "Okay, that's a good question. Right. This is going well." But to you know, all this behind the scenes stuff, right. I think that's what people really respect. And you know, just the the level of dedication and how serious serious you take it. And you know, I, I share I share that same feeling. I think I think it works great. Thank you so much. Speaking of work, uh, you've done a phenomenal job for the city paper, I believe, since last year. Um, what is it like as we sit here right now to be Dustin Waters, a reporter for the Charleston City Paper? Uh, it's it's a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, I you know it's a it's a pleasure to, to have the opportunity to write for you know that for the audience. Mm -hmm. And um, you know to be able the important thing is I get a lot of freedom. Um, as far as not only what I can report on, but how I report on it. Wow. Um, you know, I, I not necessarily get free reign, but you know, I, I get to write in my own voice, and, and that's the most important thing to me. That is so great to hear. I want to take you back down in Lane to Macon, Georgia. Um, obviously, you you know are from there. What is it like to be from Macon, Georgia? Um, it you know, there's there's a lot of good with the bad in Macon. Um, but it was it was a pleasurable experience until. But I was ready to ready to leave when I was eighteen. Um, you know, managed to uh, get out, go to college. I was uh, growing up was was interesting. Uh, my dad worked at a worked at a paper mill, still works there. My mom worked at the DMV until she retired. Um, so you know, we uh, you know it was it was good. Um, but then, when it was time to go to college, I took the opportunity to leave. Um, went to Presbyterian yes. College in uh, Clinton, South Carolina, um, and that you know that was really, I guess, kind of the start of things. I had never written until I was in college, mm -hmm. um, and you know we just kind of started doing it as something kind of entertain ourselves and pass the time, and wow. kind of worked at the paper there. Yes. And, and uh, you know that was really the first time I'd ever really considered writing. Mm. Talk to me about Dustin Waters, the English major. Okay, um, probably wasn't the best student. <laughs> um, uh, I, you know, I took college as an opportunity to try as many different things as I could. I got really into music, um, got into writing, and at the time I wasn't sure if that was really going to turn into anything. Mm. Uh, and you know, it was it, Clinton was is a small town, so um, you really had time to kind of figure out what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Um, but it would still be a while before I really seriously considered writing as a career. Mm -hmm. so, uh, as you mentioned, this you know, obviously you were the editor in chief of the school newspaper, the Blue Star. <laughs> yes, yes. As we sit here right now, what memories play back in your mind as editor in chief? Um, a lot of it was just trying to figure out what goes into making a newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, I really was not completely familiar with the process, um, so it was kind of a, uh, not necessarily baptism by fire, but uh, definitely, you know, throwing yourself in the deep end. Right. Um, and it was, it was good. Um, I got to, you know, do a few interviews and kind of sort out and figure out, okay, is this something I can actually do? 
Um, and you know, it was it was good just to just to figure out that I enjoyed the act of writing. Wow. Let's go to 2009 because you received your bachelor's degree in English. When you look back at 2009 to right now, what is the biggest thing that sticks out in your mind when you think of graduation? Um, so right after graduation is when I moved up to Binghamton, New York, yes. um, and I had uh, moved up there and stayed there briefly for the summer. But that was when it was uh, I was officially making that my home. Um, and I moved up there because uh, my wife had uh, gotten a job at uh, a research position at uh, SUNY Binghamton. Right. So it was kind of a brand new place. Um, there was snow. I had to get used to that. Um, and, you know, figure out how to make it. And, you know, kind of went from job to job. Uh, you know, worked as a janitor, worked at some uh, grocery stores, temp. Right. Um, and then I finally got a position as a lab tech at SUNY Binghamton. Yes. Um, but yes, and so that was a that was a new experience to me as well. But you know, it was a pleasure to work with everyone and you know have a solid position in the town job wise. And speaking of which, let's go back to that because when you relocated to Binghamton, you worked for the research foundation at SUNY Binghamton in the capacity of writing assistant and lab technician, which. I think is interesting. How interesting was that to you? Well, so I was originally brought on to help uh, kind of uh, coach a few of the researchers mm -hmm. um, in terms of you know uh, putting together journal articles, uh, papers that they produce from their research and things like that. And I guess I was uh, I don't know they took a chance on me mm -hmm. um, and you know hired me into the lab to. Uh, assist as a technician and uh, run experiments and, and kind of participate in the research and that was a completely new thing to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was comfortable with writing but this was a new experience mm -hmm. um, but it was it was fun. You know, I think that's one of the things that, uh, that I like about job here as a reporter and the reason I took the job uh, in Binghamton in research is just the opportunity to learn something new that you otherwise wouldn't have the chance to. June 2013, you returned to South Carolina to work at the Charleston Magazine as an intern, and from what I understand, you actually honed your copy editing and writing skills. Why the Charleston Magazine? Why then? Um, so around the same time I applied, so I was applying to a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, there was a long stint where it was just me and uh, my roommate's cat um, yeah. during unemployment, and we uh, we got. We got really friendly. Um, we were hung out a lot, but yeah. so it was like, okay, time to figure out a position. Uh, right. So I started interning at the magazine. It was actually something my wife uh, kind of pushed me into. She okay. said, "Take this opportunity." Wow. Um, so I kind of uh, went all in on that, and that was when I met Kenzie Giddick, right. who is the my current editor at the City Paper. Right. So it was kind of full circle now, I guess. Uh, well, describe to me the following one word. Tutoring cadets in writing at Citadel. Um, exciting. Uh, being the copy editor at Moodry News. Uh, a pleasure. The Charleston City Paper. <laughs> uh, fun. Southern charm. Mm, an experience. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Waters. Uh, nervous. Mm -hmm. wow. Well, Dustin Warnes, thank you so much for your time and thank you for the great article that you wrote. I really appreciate that. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you, Quentin. Thank it's you. Been a pleasure. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.